Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have three tiered trays for you. So I'm starting with just my like regular bigger trays. I'm gonna save the Target tiered trays for later. I'm so excited, they were so fun to decorate. And let's get to tiered tray in. We are going to start with my creative co-op tray from Amazon. And the inspiration for this tray was my little thankful sign from Hobby Lobby. They do come out with versions of this every year. This time I decided just to set it kind of in the middle here, since this has a lot of burgundy in it. I grabbed out my burgundy pumpkins. I have this other burgundy pumpkin from Kirkland's. This is from Kirkland's also. I don't know if they have the burgundy this year. And then I grabbed one of my Hobby Lobby napkins and I just kind of folded it up so it would fit nice up here and kind of drape over the side nice. And then just set my little burgundy pumpkin up there. My little thankful mug is also kind of a burgundy color and I figured thankful and thankful will just be really thankful with our <laughs> This uh, tray today it does say thankful on both sides, so it wasn't fitting. The like handle was hitting, so I've decided to turn it around and still see everything really nice. And then another filler piece for down on the bottom, I grabbed this like leaf mug I got from Hobby Lobby. It's in like the regular decor a couple years ago. I wanted to add some greenery to the mug, so I picked this. Um, eucalyptus pick with the burgundy on it. This is in the fall section at Hobby Lobby. And then I just grabbed my new Michael's cream chevron pumpkin to put in the back. I thought that just kind of filled out the back nicely. Add a little bit more to the front. I grabbed this big stem of greenery from Hobby Lobby and I've kind of cut it into little pieces, but it does come in like one big stem. And then in the back here, I did want to bring in some of this green from here. I just thought that was kind of fun. It's a little short to go up here, so I did grab some some of my wood slices just set it up there and then you can see it a little better here in the back and then I also grabbed one of my tall pumpkins this is from Hobby Lobby that I've squished so it sits this way <laughs> and then the last element I wanted to add was my natural rolling pins to this big picture. I just thought it needed a little something and I didn't want to add greenery. I thought the rolling pins were just the best touch. And there is my thankful tray. I love the burgundy of it, but I also love like the pops of green that I added. Just kind of ties everything together. white Hobby Lobby tray. The inspiration for this tray was my little pilgrim hat. I just decided to set this up here. It does fit obviously but I just wanted you to be able to see it a little better so I did put it on one of my wood slices and then the other item I really wanted to use was my turkey mug. I just thought that was so cute and I thought it would fit well with the pilgrim hat. So then I just went through my stuff and found other things that would kind of fit the theme. I grabbed my pumpkin mug. I thought those colors fit well with like the turkey and everything. Thing. And then I grabbed my twig pick from Hobby Lo or from Michaels and I thought that just fit in there nice like this. I just left it on the pick because then I could get it to like stand like that better. I grabbed an orange fabric pumpkin from the Target Dollar Spot forever ago. And then I grabbed another orangey yellow like striped pumpkin just to put over here behind the mug. And then up on the top I used kind of my like rusty brown pumpkin and I kind of set that off to the edge so you could see it a little better. And then I also thought that this carving pumpkins drink coffee and joy fall little cutting board would work nice this is from I want to say the dollar spot last year I figured since I had two coffee mugs on here that that would work really nice and then to fill out things a little bit I grabbed some of my wheat picks that I picked up last year at Target put them in both of the mugs and then I still felt like it needed a little something I think you could totally leave it like this and it would just be done but I don't know I was feeling like add more so I grabbed a couple bits of my big orange and green stems and put one over here off to the side and then just put one over here off to the side to kind of balance it out. I just thought it filled it out more and just kind of gave it that like baboon kind of look to it. Those could definitely be left off or you could definitely use something else if you wanted. I still have the tag on that. Well let's flip that around. And there is my little coffee tree I guess you could call it. I really like how it came out. I like all the browns that I use but then like the pops of the orange and the green. Thank you. 
Last is my Walmart tray that I picked up during Christmas time. Kind of what I was really going for to use on here was my little crochet dishcloths that I got off of Etsy. And then when I set them here, I just thought they like didn't look quite right. So I did place two of my like little wood slices. These are just extra pieces I had from a project. You could just use those wood slices too. I just set those on there and kind of made it so you can't tell that they're on there. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, I grabbed my little white felt pumpkin from the dollar spot. I thought my little eat canister that I picked up on clearance from Hobby Lobby forever ago and then it has those little wood pumpkins in there from the craft section and they do have those again this year at Hobby Lobby. I thought that fit over there just really nice and since I was kind of had like a food theme I thought my new little creamer picture would look really cute and then I grabbed my new little bird I picked up last year. I love, I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I talked about this last year. I just love the little leaf on his hat and then like all of his feathers. I find that the target birds fit really nice on this tray. I think they fit on the bottom. Let's check. Yeah. I mean, he's not perfect because his head touches, but I mean, they fit on there well enough. Some will fit better than than others. They just fit up here so nice. And then I wanted to put something in here, but I kind of wanted a different tone other than like the wood spoons and stuff I use all the time. So I did grab my metal little measuring spoons from Magnolia. I thought that also looked good with like, you know, the metal on. This canister, I think if I would use like a natural wood or something like the rolling pin that I had, that would have looked good too. It went with this. I'm really liking the silver in there and they fit in there really nice. Sometimes these are hard to fit in things because they're just kind of a little shorter. And there is my little bird tray, I guess you would call it. Don't have to name them, my Walmart tray. Here it is. was three of my fall tiered trays. I hope you enjoyed them. They were always so fun to make and I like how they turned out. It's giving me lots of ideas for what I want to do upstairs and downstairs. Let me know what your favorite item I used was. Thanks for watching. As always, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.